So when people no longer know where to talk about, they start talking about the weather. That's what they do where I live. And today, the weather is shit, because it's raining. That's where I'm going to paint, between the Merry Christmas piece and the budget piece from two weeks ago. Let's put the bag over here. There we go. This is like eight and seven, 15 cans. I don't think I'm gonna use them all, but uh, there's also two black, two white. I got enough paint to uh, do a, a nice piece, but I don't have that much space, so. I don't know why, but a lot of you think that I'm from Germany. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, I'm not. My name is Chuck and in this video I'll be painting a piece for the country where I'm from. So if you're a regular watcher, then you probably want to know. So check this video out if you want to, if you really want to know where I'm from. Some people have said that I'm uh, from Germany because apparently I said Scheiße in one of the videos. Well, sometimes I curse with the word Scheiße, but that's not because I'm from Germany. There's also been some writing on the wall. Ein, zwei, Polizei. And that was not even in, in, in Germany. That was actually in Belgium. There have also been some people who thought that I was from Denmark. The reason why was that in one of the videos I was having a uh, supermarket bag from a Danish supermarket in my hands and that piece I actually painted in Denmark. So then we already have Belgium, Denmark, Germany. Then of course there is the French train and uh, there's also a video where there's like a uh, sign with French writing on it. Uh, that could have been France but that was also Belgium so that uh, that's France to the list, but um, I'm not from one of those countries. I'm not gonna tell you yet from which country I am. This could be a beautiful German flag, right? I'm gonna use the white for the sketch. I also didn't prepare any sketch, so this is gonna be a bit of a freestyle piece. A D from Deutschland? Nope, still not Germany. So I found this little uh, character online, which I really liked. Um, so I'm gonna, just gonna bite this one. So, do you see the do you, uh, bleh, do you see the sketch behind me? Well, there's already even a, a little clue hidden in it. And um, I'd like to tell you a little fun fact about where I live. For a lot of English people, like Great Britain and America, the worst thing you can do is curse with like uh, sexual things. And where I live, we use a lot of diseases. Uh, yeah. We even use cancer if we curse. That's pretty shocking, right? <laughs> I'll keep on painting. Yeah, I guess you can tell by now what it is saying, but uh, do you also know which country it is? Don't worry, it's not time for a break yet, but um, well actually it is. So, uh Mocht het ooit zijn dat je naar Nederland komt, moet je even zorgen dat je stroopwafels koopt, want die shit is fucking good. Oh well, you guys are probably not interested in cookies, so I'm gonna fill up the piece.
Tja, Gesundheit. Ja, das erkennt ihn so. So, this is exactly why people in my country like to talk about the weather. First is raining, and now the sun starts shining. Oh man, make up your mind. So if you're from the same country as I am, you must know which flag is ours. Because our flag looks a lot like the one from Luxembourg. And that one is light blue and we have the darker blue. So I always find it really funny to see people on social media who are Dutch, who are from the Netherlands, who are using the, the Luxembourg flag in their profile to say, I'm from the Netherlands, but you're actually saying you're from Luxembourg. So, know your flag, I would say. On to the next one, orange. So if you know a little bit about the Netherlands, then you probably know that orange is our color. It's uh, once a year we have King's Day and the whole Netherlands turns orange. So uh, if you ever have the opportunity to come to the Netherlands while it's King's Day, you must come. There are a lot of parties on this day and most of them are even free, so who, who doesn't want to go to a free party? So, I can already hear you think. The first question that I see uh, dropping in the comment section is like, Chuck, do you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. Not every Dutch person is smoking weed. Or things like, uh, hey Chuck, is your sister a hooker? No, not every woman in the Netherlands is a hooker in Amsterdam. No, I'm also not from Amsterdam. So the Netherlands is bigger than Amsterdam. It is, it, it truly is. But to be honest, there are two reasons why I'm telling that I'm from the Netherlands. The first one, a lot of people already can tell by my accent that I'm Dutch. Yeah, I couldn't really hide it anymore. And the second reason is that I used to travel quite a lot to make videos. I used to go on little trips. I filmed like a couple of videos, but where I live, there are just not such a nice buildings. It's kind of boring where I live for, for as being a graffiti writer, of course. And this is also giving me the opportunity to give other people some exposure. I would really like to film like other Dutch artists. Uh, film them, collaborate with them, show them to you so that you can start following them as well, so that they get the exposure they deserve. But when Corona is over, I'll be going to other countries again and uh, I can't wait till that moment. Shadow. You might already have noticed that I'm always doing my shadows to the right side of the piece, right down, like this.
question is, do I need a second outline? And if so, which color? Is light yellow? Easter yellow? Yeah, let's go for it. I'm too small. I'm too small for this second outline. Yeah. So, now you guys know where I'm from, but also why I understood some of the German uh, comments in the videos. It's uh, Dutch and German is pretty similar, but what I always find really funny is that Dutch people understand Germans better than the other way around. Maybe it is because uh, you Germans still watch too much synchronized TV. I don't know. Stop doing that. Really. But still, I don't want to offend the Germans because you're like one of my biggest audience. I think that like 15% of you are Germans, but also like Americans, so thank you for that. I still wanted to know, from which country did you think that I came from? Let me know in the comment section. I'm, uh, I'm really curious. I really like to know for how long I could hide where I was from, so uh, let me know. This is the final result.